Hi YouTube, it's me Kelly again. Um, I'm doing my fess up video early. Hopefully you can see me. I haven't checked to see if you can see me. Can you? Okay. My husband says yes, you can see me. He's on the other side. Um, we both have our laptops on the table. But anyway, my fess up video time. First of all, um, I had to make a new weigh-in sheet. My mess up's on here. I'll talk about that in a few. But I made a new one. And I'm not using my laptop because it keeps cutting my videos short. And the last one went from 59% done to 0%. So kind of ticked me off. I don't know if it's my laptop or if it's YouTube to begin with. But either one. Anyway, um, what I basically wanted to say is I wanted to apologize to everybody for misleading them in my weight, but I was really only misleading myself. It was wrong. But I'll not only not do that again, but I'll never do what I did again as far as this messed up, fess up, whatever it's called. Mess up, fess up is, all, is what I'm going to call it. Anyway, um, I had my weigh-in on, okay, on October 29th and 30th, I messed up. And um, I just ate normal. I didn't exercise. I didn't do, you know, I didn't like go outrageously and eat. But I just ate normal. Like I wasn't even on a diet. Or even on Weight Watchers. So I won't call it a diet. I didn't do portion control. I just ate whatever I wanted to eat. Can't really remember what it was, but it wasn't good. <laughs> and on the 31st is when I really messed up royally. Yes, I do have an excuse, but like I said, excuse, excuses are for buttholes. Everybody has one. And um, I uh, messed up. I messed up so bad that I didn't want to tell everybody how much I would gained. Now I know some of it was water weight. I know because when I eat a lot of salts, eat a lot of sodium, which I did over those three days, especially on the 31st, my ankle was swollen. Both of them were, but one was swollen. And when I eat a lot of drink, eat a lot of salts and have a lot of sodium, it's a uh, so some of it was weight, water weight. That's why some of it has come off. And I hate stumbling on my words. But anyway, I guess we all do that. But especially when you're making up a, making the fess up for your mess up. <laughs> anyway, what I did on the 29th and 30th, I really can't remember, but I do know that I just didn't count anything. But on the 31st, I messed up royally, like I said. Um... My husband went, we, my children had friends over, my husband went to Taco Bell and they had a special on tacos. They were, what were they, two, two, twenty, two twenty packs or something like that for ten bucks. Ten bucks a piece, so he got two twenty packs and they ended, or twelve packs, I'm sorry, it was twenty four and they ended up giving an extra taco in there for some reason, I can't remember. There was 25 tacos the kids were eating, you know, everybody was eating. And for me, I ordered a Nacho Bel Grande with no beans. Not because I was trying to, like, you know, because I knew I was messing up. Because so I said, you know what, Kyle and Court's doing their 10-day challenge. i got to get back on track. And I, I had already weighed myself that day. But I'll tell you about the weight in a minute. But I had the Nacho Bel Grande, no beans. I added sour cream, and I didn't add light sour cream. I had added the regular sour cream. Mexican pizza, no beans and no red sauce, just because I don't like them on that. I didn't eat it all. I had a, like two or three small bites, put it away. Said I wouldn't eat it after 12 o'clock. Um, two soft tacos with the crispy potatoes are new. I had both of those, and then I had two bites left from my son's five-layer burrito. Um, I didn't put any sour cream on the soft tacos. Didn't think about it, because that was what I ate first. I was really hungry. I just went crazy. And then I went to bed at, I don't know what time it was I went to bed that night, but I woke up at about 12.30 and I came back and ate the Mexican talk, or Mexican pizza, put sour cream on it, hot sauce, um, no, not, no, lot, not low fat sour cream either, or light, I put regular sour cream. And then there was four tacos left, so I ate those as well. Yep, then I went right back to bed drank some water, and went right back to bed. Because I knew I was going to start hardcore the next day. I had already gained. Now, when I put on this, um, this is my old one. I don't know if you can see it. The mess up is right here. Er, I said I only gained one point. 
I only gained 1.1 pound when I actually gained I went from put it this way 189.1 I said that I only gained 1.1 pounds when I actually weighed in and if you can see I scratched it out 199 I went from 189.1 to 199 pounds the next morning when I weighed myself Monday morning. Monday morning was, I think it was, I'm not sure when it was, but Monday morning, my, the one that I didn't want to tell everybody about was the 25th. Monday, October 25th is when I had the mess up. And let me make sure. Yeah, I had the mess up. And I did not... The reason why I lied, like I said, I lied to you and I lied to myself. And I'm not going to do either one again. And I'm not going to go overboard like I did. There's just no way. I'm glad that I did this. But I apologize to everybody. But I'm still glad that I did this because it makes me more honest. And, it, and doing this fe fess up video is quite embarrassing. I didn't want to get on there and tell everybody that I gained, what was it, nine basically 10 pounds back I think one ounce away for, or one ounce or so many ounces away from 10 pounds whatever I went 189.1 all the way up to 199 you, you can do the math because uh. anyway so um, lo and behold I wake up Monday morning did not expect it to be 199 but it was 199 like I said probably so much of it was water weight. I don't care what, what some people say. A lot of people say, oh, there's no way you can gain five pounds overnight. This was three nights. Three nights I messed up. So you can. You can gain overnight. Um, and I know, because I did. Um, some of it was uh, reten uh, water retention. <coughs> I know this for a fact, because like I said, my ankles were swollen, and I did go really crazy on the salt. I normally have no salt or low sodium uh, or no sodium sodas, whatever. Diet that. But um, anyway, um, it's a lesson to be learned for me. I it'll never happen again. It was it's it's quite embarrassing now. And for anybody that thinks that I have not <coughs> went down, this is my weight now. One ninety nine point zero was the 25th, I believe it was, all the way till November 1st. Yeah, November 1st, I did not weigh in publicly, but was losing. I wanted to share fess up story on November 8th, 1st. Actually, I was going to do it on the 10th, but I'm doing it early. That's why I wasn't telling anybody. I was weighing myself just about every day, but I wasn't, I didn't note any of it down. All I know is I was falling back down. Now today when I woke up and weighed myself, which is now Mondays and not Sundays anymore, I weighed 189.6. So yay, um, I lost 9.4 pounds in a week's time. Well, from the 1st to the 8th. And it's possible to do that, especially if it's water weight. I know that. Plus I busted my butt trying to get, you know, not just scrubbing forward, but working out in the garage. And just trying to get back where I was. I'm still not, I'm still not at 189.1 but I went back down to 189.6 now I'm confused with Weight Watchers because so from let me go to this first on August 2nd I started 2010 I was also on Weight Watchers August 2008 I was only on it from August to November and I lost 31 pounds the first 10 pounds falls off fast because it's majority is water weight so that might have been what happened to me because I gorged and, you know, it just took off a lot of water weight. That's, you know, people are going to say, no, there's no way that I could have lost 9.4 pounds in a week. But I did. Because it was water weight, some of it. Um, but they have me starting, when I joined back up with Weight Watchers, August 2010, they have me going all the way back to 2008. I've got all my stars, you know, I got my 10% gold star, I got my first 5 pound star, and I should have wrote those down, but I also got my 25 pound star. But I don't. I wish they would have started me off with, with just now, you know, August 2010, because I was confused. Right now, as of, they've got me as of starting weight 204 pounds in 2000, August 2008, to where they've got me a total loss of 14.4 pounds. Well, 
that's not correct. I mean, it's correct with going from 2008. But going from 2010, August 2010, I've only lost a total of 6.7 pounds. Um, I had to make a new log. As you can see, I lost the paper for the weigh-ins that I was doing. I wasn't doing good to begin with, so that's probably why I lost the paper, because it wasn't important to me. But <clears throat> I'm back on track. I went from a smaller notebook to logging and staying, keeping myself accountable for everything that I everything that I lay, uh, lose or gain. Anyway, like I said, I wish Weight Watchers would have started me off at August 2010 and not 2008. But that's okay. I know today, since August 2nd, I've lost 6.7 pounds of 2010. So we're just going to stick with, I don't know, 2010. So far I've lost 6.7 pounds. They've had me confused for quite a bit and I just, you know, decided to just make a new new log in a new book and um, I'm trying this video camera out. Hopefully I can get this up. I'm not really good at editing, but I'm going to get my daughter to help me put it up if she will. Um, anyway, so basically that's my big fess up. I messed up. Don't do what I did. Like I said, there's an excuse for it, but like I said, you know, there's no really no excuse. I mean, I was going through a problem. My mother had passed away, and it was exactly a year on Halloween, the 31st, that I had talked to her. But still, like I said, excuses are like buttholes. Everybody has one. There's no excuse for what I did. Just because of my mother, you know, yeah, my mother passed away. It's a big thing to me, and it's been a year since I spoke with her on the, on the November 4th. It was a year exactly that she passed. That's still no excuse to do what I did. I did it because I I was stupid. I'm sorry, but I was. And um, anyway, so I'm starting new. 6.7 pounds gone since August 10th. I mean August 2nd, 2010. Um, they say 14.4 because they're going all the way back to 2008. I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm starting with August 10th. Or I mean August 2nd, 2010. Keep getting the 10 messed up in there. And um, I'm not going to go back to August 2008. So, so far, I have lost 6.7 pounds. It should have been better. I'm mad at myself. I'm kicking myself in the butt for messing up, for lying to you, lying to myself, and making myself look really stupid because I feel really stupid right now. That's why I can barely talk right. Anyway, um, everybody, um, leave a message, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, and uh, give me some motivation. I mean, I, I know I'm not going to mess up like I did. I really, really, really messed up bad. And I'm not going to do it again. There's no way. And if I do have a gain, whether it be 2 pounds, 3 pounds, 1 pound, on my way and I will let you know. Um, nobody's perfect. But I will lose this weight. I know by May 2nd I will be in my 140s if I lose at least 8 pounds a week. And, um, or sorry, eight pounds a month. Eight to ten pounds a month, I'll be in my 140s to upper 130s. And my goal, I'm making short goals now. Short term goals, I'm instead of, okay, I want to get to 185, I'm at 189.6 now. My goal is to get to 185, and then it's to get to the 180s, and then it's to get to, you know, 175. You know, five point goals is what I'm making. And, if it takes a while, it takes a while, but, you know, if it takes six to eight months, I'm looking at May 2nd, 2011, to be at my goal weight. I would, have, I would have already made it if I would have stuck with this in 2008. I would have already been there. I would have been maintaining right now. But, okay, everybody, I got my timer on because I, I can't see the timer on the thing. So, I'll talk to you all soon. Stay positive, stay focused, and um, stay motivated. Bye.